Working directly with parents and local partnership services, we're creating a series of videos to help and advise families who have an autistic child. In this series, we'll cover everything from how to speak with young people to dealing with everyday situations like dinner time or traveling. We'll give you tips and tricks that parents and professionals have learned through their own experiences and also teach you a little bit about what autism may mean for your child or young person. A very special thank you goes to the Greenwich Parent Care Participation Forum who were instrumental in co-producing this series alongside professional services. Hi everyone, my name is Ola. I have three children and um, the reason why I'm here is because of my 15 year old who lives with autism. Hi, my name's Lee and I am a parent with children with ASD. I also work as an ASD outreach worker for the ASD outreach service. Autism is a developmental disorder in relation to the brain. True. Autism is a difference in how the brain works neurologically, affecting how the person communicates and interacts with the world. People with autism are mainly males. This is true. Autism is more frequently diagnosed in boys. However, the number of girls being diagnosed is growing. Girls are often diagnosed later in life as they often learn masking techniques to fit in with others socially. Children can grow out of autism. False. Autism is a lifelong condition. There is no cure, but with the right support, progress can happen in how the individual manages, learns and interacts. People with autism always have a special area of ability. False. Not always. The actual percentage of special ability is about the same as the general population. But there are many people with autism with marked strengths in some areas. Autism is a middle class thing. This is false. Autism affects all groups in a society regardless of class, ethnicity or identity. It is sometimes called the invisible disability as people with autism usually look the same as neurotypical people. Early intervention can cure autism. This is false too. Early intervention is really important to help in progress, but there is no cure. Autism is not an illness, it is a condition. Children with autism do not show affection. False. Many children with autism are really affectionate Sometimes, an area of difficulty is actually that they are overly affectionate. Children with autism have challenging behaviour. False. Autism doesn't equate to challenging behaviour. Many children with autism do not display behaviour that is challenging at all. Autism has a genetic link. True. There is a definite link within families, but also autism can also occur even when it has not previously been seen in the genes. Vaccines cause autism. This is false. There is no link between autism and vaccines. Autism is from birth, although you may not notice any signs until the child starts to progress. Speak with clarity. Minimising the use of complex expressions or sentencing. Use clear and simple words. Avoid the use of endearment words, sarcasm, irony and mockery, as these can be taken literally and cause more confusion. Make and maintain appropriate or gentle eye contact during conversation. Engage them with the area of their interest. Be observant to their non-verbal communication cues including body language and facial expressions that give context to what they might be trying to convey. Give them enough time to process information. Use of picture charts or other preferred methods of communication to the individual. Always expect the unexpected. Be prepared for uncertainty in their presentation or communication. It's important to listen, 
and work out what they're trying to say. Be patient, go with the flow of the conversation and allow the individual to communicate in their own way. Be patient, make use of one of the principles of NVR, which is strike the rod when it is cold. Unlike the usual saying that strike the rod when it is hot. If they're having an outburst, meltdown, be calm and address the issue with them. When things are calmer, it is necessary, but be proactive and ensure safety. Avoid overloading information. People with autism can struggle to filter out less important information, which can lead them to being overloaded, meaning the struggle to process new information. Be aware of the surrounding environment. Could background noise be causing overload? Are too many people talking at once? Finding a quiet place reduces sensory input and would help avoid overload.